So this video is going to get out of date pretty quickly. Be sure to check the description for updates. Longtime fans of Screen Test know that the first videos we uploaded looked really bad when you watch them on your phone. They look kind of washed out with not a lot of color in them. And great color and high contrast are supposed to be the selling points of HDR. So what's going wrong here? A big part of this is that we use Dolby PQ to upload those first videos. Now this isn't a problem with PQ itself. It's the fact that at the time this video was uploaded, YouTube hadn't implemented support for converting PQ back to standard dynamic range. That's a bug and we'll fix it. But you did see starting in episode 10 that the videos started looking really different. They weren't quite normal, but they looked a lot better. And those videos were uploaded in hybrid log gamma. Dolby PQ, which is also called SMPTE 2084, is a way of encoding how bright each pixel in an image should be. Now it's built for HDR displays, so it goes from very dim to extremely bright values. And PQ is really interesting because it's got an absolute brightness scale. For basically the whole history of digital video, we've used a different system called the gamma system. And in that system, you, you can say something like, the brightness number 75 is twice as bright as the number 50. The reason why it's not 100 that's twice as bright as 50 is actually pretty interesting. It's based on the properties of the human eye. It's a little complicated for this video. I'll put a link in the description. But PQ changes all that. It says that a brightness of 50 has an absolute meaning. Now that value is tied to the brightness of the display on which the content was graded. Now, an important thing to realize about this system is it's not talking about the brightness that an end user will experience. And there are two good reasons for this. The first is ambient viewing conditions. Let's say you had a monitor with a bunch of knobs on a panel that can adjust how the image on that monitor looks. Now let's say you go outside and adjust those knobs so the image looks good to you there. We know that basically anybody who does that is going to end up with an image that looks very different from what they would have set it at if they had done this indoors in a dark room. So in order to get the best looking picture, you need to adjust how you display an image based on the ambient viewing conditions, and TVs are going to do just that. And then on top of that, what if your display is better or worse than the one that the content was graded on? Let's say my display is really dim. If there's stuff that's too bright in the image, then I need to cut it down somehow. Either I can just clip the highlight, and that ends up with a really distorted looking image. Or I can take the entire range of the image and compress it down into a much smaller space. This means the image looks a lot darker on the display. In both of these cases, my brightness isn't the same as the mastering display anymore. Anyway, what's going on in those older videos is that the monitor I have for grading only goes up to 1000 nits. Now that's still really bright compared to normal displays, but Dolby PQ goes all the way to 10,000 nits. And that means there's a big gap in there that I'm not allowed to use. But if you're watching those videos on a system that isn't doing conversion properly, then that gap will mean the whole video is compressed down into a much smaller range, so it has less contrast. There are some more details and we'll get to them in later episodes. But the important thing is that most of you are never going to see this because by the time that we launch, all of those pieces will be in place to do that conversion. For some devices, we'll just serve pre-transcoded SDR versions. And then for a lot more devices, we'll actually be doing the conversion on the fly in the client so that we can get closer to HDR than we've ever gotten before. But if you're watching this video just as it was uploaded, you'll be able to see a clear difference between episodes one through nine, which were shot in PQ, and the later episodes like this one, which were shot in hybrid log gamma. Now I'll explain a little bit more about hybrid log gamma in the next episode, but first I wanted to say thanks for watching. I really need a quieter space. This kitchen is terrible. It's so noisy. I'll fix it in post.